there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are going to be making my Christmas craft for our family's annual gift exchange. And this year I decided to make a kitchen rosary. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm spray painting a canvas using some spray paint that I've had on hand. I found that this is like the quickest and best looking way of painting a canvas. And then I planned on spray painting some of these wooden beads that I had on hand. They had been given to me from like a fellow crafter, but I really didn't want the beads to be red. So I just took some white spray paint and I tried this method of like hanging them in this bag and it ended up just being like too smoky in, in like with the paint flying around everywhere. So I actually decided to feed a pipe cleaner through the wooden beads and I found that this method worked a lot better at me being able to like cover the entire bead in paint and then having them like not be flinging around everywhere and also it was just I could breathe better. <laughs> so after these beads had dried I kind of just gathered all of my materials and I'm using some like of this string that doesn't fray as easily and you can light it on fire to like really secure it so that is what that blue little string is. And then once my beads had dried I realized some of them weren't totally coated very well and I didn't want to paint them again and I figured incorporating some gold beads into the craft was since I had some gold hardware I thought it would look nice so I'm using a gold paint pen from the Dollar Tree to just color some of these beads. The next thing that I did was I marked on my canvas like where the wood frame was where I wanted to put my little eye hooks and I placed them since it's like an eight inch tall canvas. I placed them at the two inch, four inch and six inch mark so that they would be equally spaced and everything would be symmetrical. So before I could screw in these little eye hooks, I did have to hammer in slightly a small nail just to kind of get me started. And then I was able to twist the eye hooks in by hand and secure it so that they were, you know, nice and sturdy into the frame of the canvas. So once all of my eye hooks were nice and sturdy inside the frame, I went ahead and fed through one of my little pieces of string. And then I noticed that like with a test run, if I tied a certain knot, it would still go through the circle or opening of the eye hook. So I took some of Aubrey's golden beads and fed it through that as well. And then that was actually going to make it so that nothing would like go through the little eye hooks. And fed my beads on and then you know repeated the process on the other side of the eye hook. Now I'm doing like a special little knot. You could really continue wrapping the string around over and over as many times as you want but after you do that you feed the string in through the hole and then pull it tight. I had to be very gentle at times just to get the knot exactly where I wanted it to be. And then I trimmed off the excess and used a lighter to just secure it and make it look a little bit more presentable than a little frayed edge. So on the bottom layer of this kitchen rosary, you have 10 beads, and these are for the Hail Marys, if any of you guys are familiar with the rosary. If you're not, I encourage you to look up some videos on like the benefits or where it came from, and it's definitely using prayers from scripture, and it's just a really beautiful prayer. So anyways, the bottom 10 beads are for the Hail Marys. Um, the middle beads, uh, there's five of them for the five decades of the rosary. And then the top is for the opening part of the rosary, which is the creed, the Our Father, the three Hail Marys, the Glory Be, and so on. So 
Um, the, that's why I used the two different colors on the ends just to kind of establish the Our Father and the Glory Be from the Hail Marys and just secured this all. After all of my strings were secured and the beads were on my canvas, I felt like it was just missing a little something. So I took my gold paint pen and added some crosses and hearts um, to the top and bottom of my kitchen rosary. So the great thing about a kitchen rosary is if you're busy like me and you're trying to say one rosary a day, but you keep getting cut off or you get distracted, you can have this in your kitchen and it kind of lets you know like where you left off. If you're on decade two, Hail Mary seven, then you can mark that and then come back to it and see like, okay, here's where I'm leaving off. And when I'm free, I'm gonna, you know, con continue on until my rosary has been completed. I do plan on eventually making more and trying to change up like the look of it, maybe one to fit like my kitchen theme, um, but I was prepared to definitely win this in our little raffle. My mom made a piece of art using some wood and keys and she included like a little letter describing the significance of her artwork. And then my sister went on the religious side as well. She made an examination of conscience and accompanied it with some dry erase markers so that you could keep track of your sins and then erase them when you go to confession. My dad made a wooden box. He's always like, he spends so many hours on his craft. It looked very nice. My brother made a game that he made the first year, which is like, I think outdoor bowling, I think it's called or something, but that was like the first picked thing. My aunt made a carrier case for like wine and a casserole and it could keep your food hot or cold. And my sister-in-law made this little fairy garden, which I actually ended up winning. And I'm excited to add some extra elements with Aubrey. But these were all of the crafts created for this year's gift exchange. I'm really excited to see what everyone comes up with next year. I'd like to thank you guys for watching today's video and coming up soon, we will have a Christmas undecorate video as well as a party prep video for Jack and mine and my dad's and my sister-in-law's birthday party. It is Jack's first birthday party. I'm super excited and I'm excited to share that party prep video with you guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.